um, the examples we're going to do um, are for us to simplify the following expressions. Okay, question one. What if we have the expression 4 minus the quantity 5 minus 6 divided by 3. All right, so if you want to use the order of operations, you might remember the acronym. Please ex excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So P means parentheses, E means exponents, M and D means multiply and divide. A and S means add and subtract. Now why do I group M, D and A, S in this format? Well, M and D are done together, multiplication and division are done together, but from left to right. Okay? Addition and subtraction are done at the same time, but you, you, you do it from left to right. Alright? So this is the order um, of operations. So let's go ahead and apply, please excuse my Dion Sally, to this um, problem. So we have four minus 5 minus 6 divided by 3. Now we're going to start with parentheses first because we have a parenthesis. So we have to simplify whatever is in the parenthesis completely. All right. Within the parentheses we have subtraction and division. Now which operation comes first in the order of operation? Division comes before addition and subtraction, okay? So that means that we will have to divide 6 and 3 first. So we do 6 divided by 3. Um, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we have 5 minus 2, still in the parentheses. And then we have 4 minus that. We're not done with the parentheses yet. We still have a difference there to be evaluated. So 5 minus 2 in the parentheses. We're going to do that next. So we have 4 minus 5 minus 2. When you subtract 5 minus 2, you get 3. All right. Now since this, the um, Expression in the parentheses has been simplified completely. We do not need to keep the parentheses. It's gone. Now we have to just simply subtract. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your final answer. All right, let's try another example, question 2. What if we have the following expression, um, the quantity 10 times 2 divided by 5 minus 1. Now we have parentheses, division, and subtraction. And please excuse my Dan Sally, the parentheses has to be addressed first. So 10 times 2, we have to do that first. 10 times 2 is going to give us 20. That simplifies the parentheses completely, so we don't have to keep it, okay? So we have 20 divided by 5 minus 1. Do we divide first or subtract first? And please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, division comes before subtraction. So we're going to have to divide first. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay, and we have 4 minus 1. Final operation is subtraction. The answer is 3. So there goes the answer for question 2. Now let's take a look at a, a slightly longer um, expression to be simplified. For problem 3, let's say we have something like this. 4 times 3 raised to the second power minus 1 plus 3 plus 5. Okay? Alright, so what do we carry out first? In our order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, let's write it again, please. Parentheses, excuse exponents, multiply and division. 
go together from left to right. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, addition, subtraction, you do them at the same time, Well, you start from left to right. Okay, we have multiplication, exponent, and minus, and then we have parentheses. So we have to do this parenthesis first. All right. So to do that, um, we ju are just going to focus our attention to the expression in the parentheses. Bring down 4 times 3 squared minus. Now in the parentheses, we have two addition. They are the same sign. So we just start from left to right. 1 plus 3 is 4. So we have 4 plus 5. And then continuing with the parentheses, we still keep the parentheses because um, we haven't simplified it to one number yet. So we have 4 times 3 squared, bring that down, minus 4 plus 5 is the last addition in the parentheses, 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay? Alright, so you notice I dropped the parentheses because we've simplified this correctly. Now we have multiplication, we have um, exponentiation, and we have subtraction. Now which do we do next? We're going to deal with the exponents, okay, because we've taken care of the parentheses um, step. 3 squared, so we have 4 times 3 squared is the same thing as 3 times 3, which is 9, 9 minus 9. Okay, so with this setup, what do we um, carry out first? Do we multiply or subtract? In the order of operations, we can see that multiplication comes before subtraction. So we're going to have to multiply first. 4 times 9 is 36. So we have 36 minus 9. That's the last operation. 36 minus 9 is 27. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to question number 3. All right, let's take a look at another example, number four. What if we have the expression 14 minus 2 times 2 divided by 6 times 4 times 2 times 18 divided by 6? All right, so let's let's go ahead and do this. Now you notice we have a parenthesis inside a parenthesis. Now how do we address that? When you're simplifying um, a composition of parentheses, what you do is you work your way from inside out. All right, you simplify the innermost parenthesis until you get to the outermost parenthesis. So here, what we're going to deal with first is the 14 minus 2 because it's a parenthesis in a parenthesis. Okay, so working our way from inside out, 14 minus 2 is 12. All right, so that inner parenthesis has been simplified completely because we have only one number. So we have 12 times 2 with the outer parenthesis divided by 6 times 4 times 2 times 18 divided by 6. Now what is 12 times 2? 12 times 2 is 24. So we're done with the parentheses step. That's the only parentheses we have. So we have 24 divided by 6 times 4 times 2 times 18 divided by 6. Now what are we going to do first? And please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we notice that multiplication and division are in the same order, but you execute them from left to right. Okay, so all we have is multiplication and division, so all we're just going to do is just start from the left and work our way down to the right. Okay, 24 divided by 6 is the leftmost um, operation in this column right here which is division 24 divided by 6 is 4 so we have 4 times 4 times 2 times 18 divided by 6 next we have 
multiplication and division so we're gonna do multiply next because they're together from left to right so we have 4 times 4 4 times 4 is 16 times 2 times 18 divided by 6 we're gonna continue working our way from left to right 16 times 2 16 times 2 is 32 so 32 times 18 divided by 6. Alright, so next we're going to multiply 32 and 18. Let's do that here. 32 times 18. 8 times 2 is 16. 6 carry 1. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1. That's 25. 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 3 is 3. So we add that downwards, and we have 576. Okay, so the product of 32 and 18 is 576. The last step involves dividing 576 by 6. So let's go ahead and work that out. 576 divided by 6. Um, so 6 doesn't go into 5. 5 is too small, so we'll put a 0 here. How about 57? 6 goes into 57. If you do your multiples of 6, 9 times. 9 times 6 is 54. And then you subtract that. You have 3. Bring down the 6. 6 goes into 36 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. So if 576 divided by uh, 6 is equal to 96. Alrighty, so there goes the final answer for question number 4. Now, how well did you understand the contents of this presentation? Let's go ahead and work on some practice problems. We'd like you to try the following. Try these. Um, Instructions are to simplify the given expressions, okay? So what you do is you work on these given expressions, uh, copy down the given expressions, pause the video, work on them, and then um, proceed with the playback and see if your answers are the same as what um, is, is provided, all right? So question one in our practice set is two times two quantity divided by 4 minus 2. Question 2, what if you have 5 times 11 minus 5 divided by 3? Question 3, what if you have 12 times 2 plus 6 divided by the quantity 1 squared plus 5? Number 4, but if you have 2 plus 4 times the quantity 4 plus 4 plus the quantity 3 minus 1 cubed minus 6. Alright, go ahead and pause this video and try out the following problems. We will provide you the, with the answers momentarily. Okay, let's oh, hope that you've tried out the problems, the answers are as follows. For the first one, the answer is 2. For the second one, the answer is 10. For the third one, the answer is 5. And for the fourth one, the answer is 36. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation, we really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of order of operations, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions um, about the, the contents of this presentation or any Algebra 1 concepts in general, just place your questions in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this um, prep series. Do visit our website at mathgotserve.com for access to more practice um, uh, problems and, and learning resources. 
Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.